Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be building my Ender 3 Pro. Step one, we have two beams that go up and down. Let's put this baby on the side. Oh. Got one in. All right, and one last. Okay, there we go. Step one is done. Now let's go ahead on to step two. They want the power module and the display screen to be installed now. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll start with the power module. All right, power module is on. Now the display screen wants to be put on. All right, we have a 3D printer with the power module and screen on board. There's some kind of bracket for step three. This bracket is actually a stop switch. All right, step four. We are installing, doesn't have a name, um, it's an axis. An axis for one of the motors. Here we go, this looks more like it. So this part is gonna go on the back of the other side of the power module. All right. It's in there pretty tightly. All right, step four, completed. Now, we also need to install that rod, I'm assuming. Step five. So we are installing this to a beam. It wants us to do this right here. You don't need any external tools for this, which is very convenient because I don't have my tools here with me today. All right, on. It is on, nice and tight. Not too tight though. And now on to step six. Go ahead and slide this in, see how it behaves. All right, oh my gosh. There's no wiggle in any of this. Just a slide. Makes me so happy. Kind of satisfying. All right, let's put in this other piece. Before I get too excited, this baby right here. Perfect. Now, we are locked in. It slides beautifully. I don't know what else to say. There's no wiggle. It's perfect. Step seven. We are installing the thingamajiggy. Whatever the thingamajiggy is called. Oh, here we go. We have one of these brackets again. So I guess that's what it's going on here. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure that is a tensioner. Step number eight. It wants me to get this little um, belt. So here we go. Synchronous belt. I see I see some slits here, so I think I know what it wants me to do. It doesn't imply it, but now I know. Now I know. Slip it in there. It's a tight fit. As it should be. Now we got a tight belt. Um, we've got a tight case on our hands here. It's a good thing. Now on to step nine. There we go. So right here, um, there's some screws and it says don't tighten too tight. Now I wonder what tighten these do. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And what is not too tight? That is another question that I ask myself. So here we go, step 10. Let's go ahead and install the top bar looks like it goes just like this all right looks like we have one jiggled in place and let's go ahead and tighten that beautiful 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 all right so satisfying just watching this 3d printer come together 
before your very own eyes. I mean, I'm sure it's heck of a lot more convenient to get a printer, ready to print out of the box, but if you're the kind of person that likes to get hands on, build your own stuff, this is very satisfying. Step 10, end pieces. Let's just snap these babies in here. I might just hammer it in, or, or maybe not. Let's not use a hammer on this yet. Let's just thumbnail push it. Okay. Step 10, done. Step 11, um, we are going to put the spool rack on. All right, step 12 is all about getting connected. Right, so we have power connection that is made, check. They made this very convenient for you to just plug it in. We have it in the hole, now we're just feeding it through. So other than the instructions that you get for building this 3D printer, you don't get anything else. Uh, I'm sure I can find things on YouTube, but if this is good enough for them, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what, see what we can get out of this. It's an exciting moment right now. We're getting a 3D printer powering up for the first time ever. So it's plugged in and now, let's go ahead and turn it on. Nothing. I got nothing. All right, so I think I figured out what's wrong. If you look, if you look back here, it, it's supposed to be at 115 and I had it at 230, which is, it's what the, the default was set at. Main, prepare auto home. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> we have some movements. All right, let's go ahead and put that memory in here. So, memory chip goes in here. Okay, maybe I'm moving this backwards. Eight gig, eight gig memory chip, micro SD, um, straight there. Okay. Print from TF card. Dog. Okay. Bed heating. I clicked on dog, the dog file. I'm not sure how it goes from here. I just know that there's things connected, there's fans running, and there's a timer timing. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What? No! No! I forgot to adjust the bed. So the bed is too low for what it needs to be at. So I'm gonna stop it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. Oh, but I wish I could use a 3D printer. Look, it's working now, finally.